This is Skip Welch. And I'm Doug Jones. We're with Danley Sound Labs. Today we're going to talk to you about the J2. So Skip, tell me, what makes the J2 different? Well, the whole Jericho line is a continuation of the Synergy horn. And what we did in the Synergy horn was combine multiple band passes into one horn. And Doug, why don't you explain the difference between the Synergy horn and the Jericho horn? Well, the Jericho is a Synergy horn, right? So, as Skip said, the Synergy horn combines, we use the word Synergy because it combines the output of a bunch of drivers into a single horn. Now, with the original Synergy horn, we did that with woofers and mid-range, but all of the original Synergy horns had one compression driver. Skip, how many compression drivers do we have in the J2? We have 12 high-frequency drivers, wow. 24 5-inch mid-frequency drivers, and 6 18-inch low-frequency drivers. 6 18 low... <laughs> <laughs> Six 18-inch low-frequency drivers. So this box really doesn't need a subwoofer. Not at all. We've got response. The minus 3 dB downpoint is in the mid-30s. Wow. And so you're getting response well down into the upper 20 hertz range. Cool. So let's talk about the applications for one of these. Where would I use one of these boxes? Uh, generally left and right in my home theater. Sounds good to me. If you've got a big home theater, we'd love to build them for you. Your car? Maybe not. Uh, arenas, obviously stadiums, large outdoor facilities. Uh, the J2 is arrayable, so you can tight pack the J2. Yeah. The coverage pattern is 90 degrees by 60 degrees. And, you know, if you need more than that, buy two. With 42 drivers in one horn, Doug, amplification obviously is a question. Recommendations? We can actually power this box with one of our DNA 20K amplifiers. It's a four-channel amp, and it comes with all of the processing required to make this baby work. So two channels for the low frequency, mm -hmm. one channel for the mid frequency, and one for the high. Exactly. Yep. So I get asked a lot about the Jericho technology and how it compares to other loudspeakers. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, the Synergy horn, it directs the sound to where it's supposed to go without the need for interference. So the horn itself is controlling where the sound goes. That means that we don't need to rely on interference. Interference makes boxes much less efficient. So here's the thing. One of these boxes with a single amplifier, that's four amp channels, is going to give you output that you'd have to pile up a whole lot of line arrays with a whole lot of amplifiers to come close to what one of these will do. And we think that saves you a lot of money and it saves you a lot of power. So rigging costs obviously less expensive. We've got one box to rig, which we provide outer flywire and rigging points. Yeah, and, and you know we should we should add that this is not a lightweight box. This weighs six hundred some odd pounds. So you know leave the rigging to professionals. This is not something you want to put up above the stage with a bungee cord. Well, if it's a big enough bungee cord, maybe. But it, it's it's a big heavy box. But still, it's one box. So if you'd like to learn more about the Synergy Horn, I have a video up on our YouTube channel, and it's about how Synergy Horn works. What, what do we call it? A Synergy Horn. What makes it unique? Exactly. What makes it unique? So until next time, I'm Doug Jones. And I'm Skip Welch. Thanks. This is Skip Welch with Danley Sound Labs. And I'm Doug Jones. And today we're going to talk to you about the J... <laughs> You know what? We already had this one in the bag. Why are we starting over again? <laughs> We've I done forgot which one. box we're going to do.